Hey YouTube, Coppersand here. A new update has hit the Korean MapleStory server, releasing the long-awaited 64-bit client. Let's take a closer look and compare the old and new client to see just how massive these improvements really are. MapleStory has been plagued by poor optimization, memory leaks and a lot more inconveniences. After all, the game is already pretty old, but a new shiny 64-bit game client should fix all of those issues, or well at least most of them. The first thing that I heard was that the new 64-bit client is supposed to launch faster as well, so let's put it to the test. On the left side is the new Korean client, as you can see by all the hangul on the left. Did you actually know that MapleStory Korea launches through a web page? On the right we have our beautiful old school 32-bit client launching MapleStory Global. My launcher is in Dutch, but uh, Spelen means play for all you non-Dutchies out there. I actually kinda enjoy the slower loading times of the 32-bit client. It allows me to read up through all these event notes while I wait for the game to launch. Unlike that really fast client on the left side, by the time MapleStory Global clients unfreezes, I'm basically already in the game with the new 64-bit client. Wow, that actually is a massive improvement. I wouldn't say it's like lightning speed fast, but compared to the old client, yeah, it's pretty good. Almost there, a 32-bit client. Come on, man, Pali Pali. By the way, the speed of actually getting into the game after selecting a character is greatly improved as well as you might have noticed. So good stuff so far. Yeah, the 32-bit client loading is still gonna take a while, unfortunately. The loading speed is actually greatly improved. I think it's like 40 seconds faster compared to previously. Still again not lightning speed, but hey, it's actually pretty dope. Almost there, almost there. We're almost in the game. And this is the difference that I mean, getting into the game actually is a lot faster in a new client compared to the 32-bit client. Finally! So that's pretty good. But what if there is a lot of action happening on the screen? I remember a recent uh, monster summoning event that rendered my frame rate to that of a PowerPoint presentation where it takes about 20 minutes to load the next slide. My fiance's PC did fare a little bit better during that event, but hey, I was streaming at the same time. <laughs> but overall, the event was pretty laggy and we couldn't even see everyone's skill animations, not to mention that almost I think everyone did see it at least once. So that was pretty bad. So I was looking out for a lot of people in the MapleStory Korean server and once I went to Vanishing journey I saw a bunch of people beating the living crap out of a straw tainting dummy and well what do you know no insane lag spikes or anything like that sure there was still a little bit of stuttering when I was jumping around but nothing like the PowerPoint show we had earlier with the 64-bit client monster summonings might actually make a return without the seeing almost every living being of the map when more than six people attack a boss so that's pretty nice there also is a new setting in the client, we try to understand it to our best of our abilities with our limited Korean and technical knowledge, but it looks like Maplus can also allow MapleStory to eat up even more RAM so it runs even smoother. If you have a heavy duty gaming PC or just a PC for Maple, this actually could be super useful, sort of up the upper limit of memory that MapleStory can use if I understood it correctly. During this uh, barrage of attacks, my memory used by MapleStory reached about 4000 MB, which is usually enough for MapleStory to start leaking some memories, but everything was still pretty smooth and dandy over at the new client. So basically with the new client, the game runs smoother, there are less delays, loading times have been reduced, the game doesn't start lagging as much anymore when a lot of stuff is happening on the screen, and certain UIs like the metal UI or crafting UI that usually just straight up freezes your game when opened, now opens with only a very slight delay. Do keep in mind that I'm playing on the Korean server with a pretty high high pings that could still affect some stuff. Now Nexon has yet to announce when the 64-bit client will be released in other regions. There was a promise made that game-changing improvements and quality of life would be a high priority. However, so far we have yet to see any of those after a few of them were added during the new update. Let's hope Nexon can make it happen and bring it to other regions earlier. I really don't want to wait another 6 months for this massive improvement. But yeah, usually updates are rolled out in other regions about 6 months after they are released in MapleStory Korea. So in that case, we wouldn't be able to see the 64-bit client until like spring 2022. Uh, so let's hope next one can put it off and be a bit faster with releasing that one. I'm actually pretty excited about this one, it looks pretty good so far playing in MapleStory Korea, so let's hope it works well in the West as well and else we'll just demand more compensation. And that was all for today. As always, many thanks to our members for making this video possible. Thanks to Niels de Konig, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, FLX, Riley Oz, Terry Kim, Varese, Dries Sumker, Wiley, Francisco Sousa, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Simak, Safronix, Alonso, BT Extremes, Anwar NHI, 
Brandon, Frank Bouguet, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Beamer WT, Knifesu, Chen125, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Sir QQ Morse, Froggy11, Sir T2655, Grayson Lee, Riser RU, Brandon Cam, Vyra, Bruno H, Trevor, Yuki436, Afterlord underscore MS, Sinfalido, Ratius, John Man, Lucky Beats, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Stevie Zeng, Yuruski TV, Sauli Shinauda, Heo Pan, Truzira, Joshua Alvera, Striker Elk, and Nok MSS. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling.